Hello everyone, to Fudge 3004 here. Welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. In the last episode, we just got done getting into the captain's quarters over in the Aurora. And we also put a bunch of stuff on the Cyclops. We made the Mark II depth module. We cannot make the Mark III because we just don't have any kyanite. And if you remember correctly, come over to your modification station and... Is it in here? Um, there it is. Cyclops upgrade. Cyclops depth module 3. We need kyanite. And that's something we just are not going to be able to get right now because it's way too deep. We can go 1,300 meters down in the Cyclops and our suit because we also made that. And so our prawn suit now can also go down that far as well. And that's actually really good. Let's go and get back into it and... Okay, 1,300 meters. Something else... Oops. Something else that we also did is we put in some more storage modules in here. And that's actually really good. So we have quite a bit more storage. That's going to help us out quite a bit. And in the Aurora, we got the Aurora miniature and an Aurora poster and a blueprint. Um, I also found a fun fungal sample, sample way out there in a previous episode, but that's for something else later on, and I don't know what, but we'll be finding out. Now, um, for everything else, here's our upgrades, and we need to be careful about what we take off, because we, we're not going to be able to take off this if we go deep, but maybe we can take off this or something and put on some more storage modules once we get down there and then we can uh, be able to pick up a lot more stuff to put this back on. We'll just put this in the storage thing back here itself. So to make the storage modules you need to come over to here and make them in here. So try to keep that in mind. And that's actually going to be under here. It says uh, small storage locker Seamoth prawn compatible. So titanium and lithium, that's all we need, and I don't think we have any more lithium. If we do, it's going to be on the sh on the Cyclops and not in our base, because I've been moving all that stuff around. Um, there's not a lot left in here. We do have some of this uranite crystal. We also need to see what this stuff is, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be the... Um, cuttlefish and we need to put that in our alien containment unit let's go ahead and switch containers with this this and this and then we can put the stalker tooth away somewhere and then we have another message that we can listen to as well and we can't put this stuff on the ship we cannot uh, get these to grow because it has to be in the water so that's something we're just not going to be able to do all right, now that we got all that stuff out of the way, um, I'm thinking the first thing that we probably are going to do is let's come over to our build our reader thingy, whatever, wherever it is. Thing that we um, can build, like any of the, like the sea moth, the cyclops, and all that stuff. I know it's around here somewhere. It's quite a ways out there on the other side. So let's just uh, zip right over there. And now we're over to it. Let's see what it takes to build the last piece that we need. So, okay, Neptune escape rocket. That's the thing that we got. So now we can build that to go someplace. We have the Neptune launch platform. We need two titanium ingots, a computer chip, and four lead. I know that we have lead down there, so I'm not worried about that. The computer chip, we need copper, and a bit of copper. I think we might have some, but I'm not sure. We'll have to go look, and we can make the titanium ingots really easy. I'm going to get all this stuff ready, and we'll make that platform, and whenever I get that stuff ready, 
I'm done, I will come back to you guys. I'm gonna go see if I can grab some of these congealed gas balls. We need to pick these up anyway, and so we've got a couple of them. Good. They don't hurt us that bad, they just kind of make us a little icky. So I figured because we need these for some sort of crafting that I forget what it is. Okay, actually that did quite a bit of damage to us. But we did get a few of them, so you can see we actually have quite a few now. My health actually comes back up. Okay, huh. All right, that's good. Um, we can actually get one more of those, so I'm not really going to worry too much about it. And let's go ahead and make the computer chip, and then we'll get the lead, and then we will make that. Okay, so, computer chip. Alright, now we need the lead, and I do know there is some lead. There's also some outside. Grab those four pieces, and we have two titanium ingots. Let's, uh, I don't think we have any more in any of these. I'm probably going to move a fair amount of the fish to the Cyclops as well. And then we will have those, alright. Now we have all the land. Let's go see if we can make that now. Now if we can make the platform, then that will be a good portion of things out of the way. Then we won't have to worry about it. Alrighty, that's lit up, so that means we can do that. So we have the two titanium ingots, computer chip, and four lead. Let's go see how big this thing is. Wow. It like froze up there for a minute. Okay, that looks massive. That looks very, 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 very massive. Wait for this guy to drop. Man, look at that thing. It's huge. And those little guys are tiny compared to it. Wow, look at those ladders. They're tiny. Wow, that actually took a fair amount of time. That is what you call a splash. A very big splash. Wow, look how big this thing is. Hokey jamokies. Now this is my kind of base right here, man. Oh, that's cool. We can even go down in here. As long as the rocket's not down here, obviously. That's cool, man. I Oh, that's cool. I like that. All right, let's uh, go over here to this console, and then we will see about uh seeing what it takes to make that dern rocket okay they have their own little builder raider things wait oh okay uh we need a lubricant copper wire and a plasteel ingot i don't know if we have any more Lithium, like I said, so yeah, we're definitely gonna have to do some looking around. That's the gantry. Okay, that's the part that's going to hold the rocket in place, it looks like. Uh, I have a feeling this thing is gonna be very expensive. I just have that feeling. Uh, that's just one part, which is gonna, yeah, oh boy. Let's uh, go down, let's listen to that radio message, and then let's look at making these parts. I don't know. Um, okay, we have another blueprint, that's good. So let's Neptune Gantry. Sports the rocket, or Gantry, whatever it is. Sports the rocket during construction. All right, now. 
there's something in here that I didn't notice the last time and when I was editing my video I noticed it but I thought I would show you guys right now so the creature decoy that we need in the Cyclops is right here I looked at it probably five times and didn't even see it well all we need is titanium and a wiring kit to make one and um, I don't know So a wiring kit is two silver, so we got to find a bunch of silver and some quite a bit of titanium. We do have some. I have a fair amount on the sea moth, which I need to put into the cyclops, and then we can go look to see if we can find some more silver. I am going to busy myself with that, and we'll come back, listen to the radio message, and just see where all else we go. I need to eat. So let's uh, get some tweet here real quick. And let's just uh, let's have a lantern fruit. All right, that's good food. Chinese tater. It's pretty good food. And I know the barrel melons are more uh, water than anything. Let's go in. Uh, I think I have some fish in here, or no, I have four titanium right there. I have some of this spine fish. Let's uh, change that. There's the Cyclops engine efficiency module, some more benzene, lots of the uh, uranite. There's all kinds of stuff in here, man. Let's pick up a spine fish and let's see what all that does. Spine fish does 23 food, so that's actually really good. All right, now. Let's go and look at the, uh, oops, excuse me, that's in here. And I need to move a lot of this stuff, okay, that's batteries, we have one piece of titanium there. And then over here we have more titanium. I'm going to go out looking for silver, I'm going to make several of these creature decoys, we will put those in. And we will see if we can maybe get some more stuff going here before we get going too far. I will catch up with you guys again here in just a couple of minutes. See you guys then. Well, coming down here to where that deep base is underneath um, where we found the water filtration machine. I happen to cross the PDA in an area I haven't been to. Let's go see. Okay. Let's go see. Data bank. Okay, um, I don't know where that one wet was, but let's, uh, okay, that's a photo. Um, somewhere in here there's going to be something to do with a, another place to go to. I just don't know where that is. Um, let's take a quick look around. That's the... Okay, that's a deep river. That's our stuff. Proposed Agassi Habitat. Okay, I know where that one is. That's the one that we were at not that long ago. Okay, so we will find that one eventually too. I just happened to see that, so I don't even know anything about that. All right, for the those are deployables, and there are the creature decoys. I was noticing them when I was looking through stuff the last time during the editing in my last video. We need wiring kit. It tracks creature to its location can be deployed by hand or by submarine. Cannot be reclaimed once deployed. Let's make a couple of these and let's do at least two of these. Okay, we've got the wiring kits. Now let's make two of these. They take three titanium and one wiring kit each. Oh, wait, what? Three? Okie jamokies. Okay, um, let's. 
go out there and let's go and load these in. I didn't know it took three. Oh, I made three. That's awesome. Let's put these guys in our little uh, shooter raider thing, our little torpedo bay. And I did plant some more things. So we have a big jungle here. And I also put some more marble melon and Chinese potato over there. And let's go to the torpedo bay. That's right here. We can still get to it, okay. And load decoys here. Open torpedo bay. Okay, there's five slots. We can actually make a few of these because we have one more wiring kit. And equip, equip, equip. Let's make another set or two of these. Uh, let's make two more sets. We'll have enough of them to maybe keep things at bay. We'll need three more titanium. And I actually happen to have some more titanium over here and this one. So let's do one, two, three. Now, we don't need to go over to the base to do that. We can actually just do that right here. Let's go to resources. Huh, that looks different. Um, let's do a wiring kit so that we have a third one. And then let's go ahead. Oh, we can make waterproof locker, nice. Um, let's do one. We have to put these guys in as we make them because we're just not gonna have room in our inventory. So, yeah. All right, let's do equip and equip. There are now five in there because normally it only holds one, but since we have the upgrade for that right in here, and you can see Cyclops decoy, decoy tube upgrade increases the capacity of the Cyclops decoy loading tube. We have that now. Let's make one more set, I think. Let me see if those hold two. We can do one, two, three. We can do exactly three more. Let's do that real quick. We'll put these in a locker. And then we will have lots of decoys just in case we were to happen to need them. Because we may need them. I don't know. This one had all the veggies and the seeds in them. So, you know, that's always good. Now we got that. And I believe gold is in here. All the good stuff is in this first one. And I got some more magnetite when I was down there with that PDA. I still don't know what the PDA is, but I did uh, try to look through, but I just don't know where that whatever loading thing was that we're supposed to see. All right. Let's go down and let's see about... Um, probably listen to that radio message. I'm trying to think about things we need to do as far as I know. That's about the only other thing that we need to do besides maybe get stuff off our sea Uh I know I put quite a bit of stuff in the inventory and I'm going to put most of this stuff in the Cyclops. I'll be doing that here in just a quick minute. And I also got quite a bit of, I got three more pieces of lithium, some more diamond and lots of lead. I don't need the lead, but I have it. And yeah, and then we can look at building a piece on top of here, getting that um, thing set up for our creature that's in here. We can do that, and then we are going to be listening to that radio message. I will um, look for some more titanium, and I will be right back. All right, so for the uh, alien containment, I'm gonna need five glass and two titanium. That's a lot. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to uh, go up a ladder with it, but we can always try. First thing I'm gonna do is let's go up a ladder. Now we're up on the second floor. I did put on another thing up here so that we can get around easier. Now, 
Um, I'm not going to be able to take the base out that way with that ladder there, but I don't have any other place to put it because every other way is taken and I can't put it right in the middle if I'm going to have that containment there. I could probably put another piece out here, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, so let's go out, find some more... Um, this stuff. Um, quartz. And then we can build the alien containment. So I am going to go out there and gather that with this. I'm just going to, um, actually what I'm about to do is probably put on that arm again so I can grab it. And that's perfectly fine. That's a drill. Um, actually, no. I need to come into the upgrades and let's take off a drill. Okay. Now I have my grabber again, and then we can, I, and, and if I find quartz, I can always put this back on too, that's not a big deal. I am going to go out and see if I can find any quartz. We will build the alien containment unit, put that little fishy in it, and see what happens. Alright, finally got the glass, and the, I have the titanium. So, let's see if we can build that containment unit up here. Hopefully. Okay, cool. It will let us. And, looks like we can even maybe take something out one of the ways, too. That would be pretty awesome. Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Uh, very wise words. All right, we got that. Um, I don't know if we can actually put anything in it or not. Let me go see. So we may not be able to, or maybe we can. I really don't know. Um, hmm. Okay, we're probably going to need a hatch on here somehow. Well, you know what that means. More glass, more titanium, and I don't know if I actually have much more quartz. And it was getting hard to find. Uh, maybe I can go over by the Aurora and find some more quartz over there. I'm just going to have to go see. And I did pick up a whole bunch of these gas pods. I have quite a few of those. And that's good. That really helps us out a lot. I'm actually going to stick them. I don't... It was for one of the torpedoes, wasn't it? Yes. That we needed the gas pods. So um, I'm going to stick them on here. Because maybe we can use them for something. I don't know. I'm just going to go and stick them in here. Just for safekeeping anyway. And I kind of forgot... Systems online that we also have these lockers here and that's good let me see if I have one more piece up here if I have one more piece up here that would be awesome um, if I do it's going to be in here okay I have two pieces I, I can get some more let's go ahead and make another glass and a hatch let me see five a hatch is um quart one quartz two titanium sweet so I actually don't need that other piece of titanium do I or quartz I mean let's just go and put you back and let's go make that now and then maybe we can put the creature egg in there and see what happens and then go listen to that radio message we really need to anyway and um, I'm gonna go up there. See about making that hatch real quick. Five hatch. Sweet. Um, let's put it maybe over here so that way we don't like always run into it. Okay, now let's go. Enter alien containment. Now, let's 
drop the creature, egg is an egg. Okay, yep, look at that, look at that, he's already, already going, look at that, he's growing. Yay, all right, this thing, it's not expensive, it's just uh, hard to get, because you gotta go down to that deep base, way down there by the Lost River. All right. Now, let's eat a marble melon. Now we're full, and let's go listen to this message. I have no idea what it is, and let's go check this out. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships, they run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn Charter's going to have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long-range scans pick up in the meantime? Okay. Well, it sounds like somebody's going to be coming for us. How do you like that? All right. I don't know if that's good or not. We'll have to see. Um, okay, we got that done. What else were we going to do? We got the alien containment unit, and uh, we got all that stuff put in. We listened to the radio message. Where'd it go? That wasn't exactly a lot of important information but there was enough and I'm thinking we're probably gonna have to go deeper as I keep saying that over and over not doing it and um, but we really do this guy is recharging I have a probably full power cell in here I'm gonna take it just in case I need it. Gotta put those gas pods away because I forgot already. Imagine that. And I don't think there's much of anything else in here that we need to take with us. I mean, we have everything. We could put two of these guys in there, I guess. Maybe get them out of our way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just go and put in the second one also. All right, now there are two little things in there. We can also make an aquarium, I noticed. Um, I don't know exactly what that's going to do to help us, but it might give us some place to store fish, self-sustaining aquatic habitat. And that would be a good thing for getting them out of our locker. I just don't know how big it is. We're gonna have to definitely go get more quartz for sure. So maybe what I'm going to do is go do that and see about me putting one of those on the Cyclops as well. I'm just going to take the Seamoth for a quick spin, go over there, see if I can find some uh, quartz. And I will be right back. While out looking for the uh, quartz, I happen upon life pod number six. Let's see what this is. This is Ultra glide fins um tech already in pda so we don't need that and here's another pda okay life pod six ma'am i need you to stay calm we're not in immediate danger where are the rescue teams the aurora didn't make it so where are the rescue teams they're dead ma'am we have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. Lovely. Right? Yeah, lovely. She's a real nice lady. One of those people you really don't want to have around. Sounds like there were a lot of them on the Aurora, right? 
I did find quite a few pieces of the quartz, so I'm able to take that. I only need to, I know, but if we are going to build another base somewhere, because it probably would not be a bad idea, um, we're going to need a lot of titanium, a lot of quartz. Hey, there's one more piece. I was hoping there's another piece over here. We're actually getting really full again, so um, I'm going to head back here after I get done looking for a couple of more minutes and see what I can find. I think that's a battery charger, but I'm not sure what that is. Um, scanner room, okay. We haven't made the scanner room yet. We still have a lot more things to do, but uh, yeah, we definitely need to be moseying on to other places. We can make this after a while again, the scanner room or whatever. We can even make it another location and see if there's anything down there worth getting or anything and uh yeah we'll be doing that so i'm gonna head back and i'll catch up with you guys again there i cannot place the uh aquarium in here there's just no room unless i take out some stuff but i was looking around and i saw this and i'm like there's a fire what and it's like nope activate the cyclops fire suppression system so that's where this is i didn't know where it was but now i do so that's pretty awesome and i can't i can put it in here but then it'll mess with this and things won't work right and you know the drill so i'm gonna have to go inside and put that in our base which is fine we can do that just as easy can't really put it down here because there is no room down here and what i'm about to do is then put on another piece let's go to our base and let's put on a multi-purpose room and then we can put one on right up here and then we can put our aquarium in here I think that's actually a pretty good idea. Okay, so that's now built. I think we're gonna be, we have to make yep, some more titanium. Luckily, I do have quite a bit of my ship and that's good. A little uh, sea moth here. Take both of those. Let's make the multi, uh, the aquarium and finish that room. And then we will listen to one more radio message that is on there right now. And we will see what that is. Or maybe we'll wait till the next episode. We'll just have to wait and see. I don't know what it is, but... Um... Da -da -da. And we might as well just go and do more. That way we have enough for that, uh, thing that we need. Uh, it's not in here. Hey guys, how are you? Look, we have our little buddies here. Hi guys, how are you, man? Yep, we just got our little, little guys here. Wait, what? There's a... Whoa! Look at all the stuff we can plant in here. Hey, we could probably put like some of that arrow gel in here. I'll be... Yeah. We won't have to go all the way out to find it. All right, let's build this. Now let's go back in and make our aquarium. We need to probably think about putting another bulkhead. And let's make a ladder. I don't know if we can put an aquarium in up here, but we can sure as heck try, right? Interior aquarium. Oops. We can even put that right on the top of there. How do you like that? Um, let me see. So if that's that side, we don't want that. This is going to be... All right, let's put that right there. Cool. Now we can put fishes in here. Yay! All right, let's go do that. Um, let's just go put those guys in here. 
switch container. All right, so we can put one more thing in there. But at least we do have that, so now we can just come up here and get food. That's cool. Whoops. All right, in the last minute that we have, um, we'll probably not listen to that message right now. We'll wait until the next episode. And got the alien containment unit. We have our little cuttlefish. I'm not sure what to do with them, but we will see. And gonna have some lithium. I noticed there was some copper out there. I'm probably gonna have a couple of nodes of copper. I'm gonna use a prawn suit, go out there, find that. And we got a lot of stuff done. I mean, we filled up the ship. We got a bunch of things going. We made stuff. We made progress. That's good. We didn't do a lot as far as going uh, farther, but we did get a lot of stuff stocked up really good. And uh, we have more on our base now, which is good. I like that part a lot. And I'm going to see... What all we have in here? Cause I just don't remember. Okay, this guy is super full. Maybe we'll put one of those guys in that aquarium too. We have enough stuff to put on the Cyclops for a while. We made that and we need to make more stuff. At least we got little ways. Everything is getting very expensive in the game. So let's go and put this in the aquarium. And then we will probably call it a episode. So you go right there. All right, now you guys all get along. No fighting, okay? You guys be nice to each other. We have two more pieces on our habitat. We have some good stuff going on. We have a lot of water. I'm going to put some water on the ship also. And we got a lot of quartz. And we made a lot of progress. And now we just need to go and see what that is going to be about. We'll do that in the next episode as we continue this journey. So until then. Um, I don't. Oh, well, we can make another one of those, huh? How much lithium do we have on me? one piece. I'm not going to waste lithium for that. I might get put it on the sea moth, but there's no point in that. All right, everybody. This is Subnautica. I am the Fudge 3004. Thank you for joining me here. And we found another live pod and got its contents done. And there was a couple more things we, we didn't get because we already have it. And we're going to listen to that radio message, find out what's going on there, build some more on our... Uh, pad there that we have let's go take a quick look at that let's go to the blueprints the gantry or gantry or whatever it is was all we need is some copper wire plastic ingot and lubricant then we can make that we made the creature decoys we did pretty good today i think and we made quite a ways that's good uh, we could probably make another one of these and have them with us so we can uh, go a lot faster if we need to because we may end up needing to. All right, you guys have a great day. Message coming up here real soon, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.